Hello. Uh, I'm late. As my mother always said, better late than pregnant. I've just gotten a message, a, uh, a question, probably... Uh, probably from Summer, asking me if I was going on. And uh, she's also sent me tonight's custom intro. And uh, let's let's start with that. Hmm? Let's go to church. It's time to go live. It's time to go live. Yeah, 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 it's time to go live. Sing it with me. It's time to go live. It's time to go live. Yeah, 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 it's time to go live. She took us to church. I love it. And, uh, hi. We made it through the week, y'all. We did it. I'm so proud of us. I'm kind of hoping that I'm going to see Mr. Mark Hardman in here because we only get to have him on the weekends now. But he did say that he would be in here on Fridays and Saturdays. And it is Friday night. So I'm hoping we get us some, some Mark Hardman up in here. And uh, wow. Wow. Look at all these people showing up. It's good to see y'all. My goodness. I don't really even have much of a topic today. Um, I'm exhausted. That's what I can tell you. I am exhausted. It's been it's been a busy week. We have definitely been busy this week. Uh I've spent most of it down at the neighbor's house, helping my friend out uh, post-surgery. And, uh, well, then her, uh, her wife came home tonight, and we hung out, and she, they now both have VR headsets. And watching one of them try to learn how to use the VR headsets and she's like she's on a little stool and she's scooting all over the living room because she's got this big thing strapped to her head and over her eyes and they're trying to play mini golf apparently um it was really funny it was really funny so um that was cool and we just, you know, I chilled out over there this evening and, and we just, you know, we chilled out. She's doing really well, Summer. Thank you for asking. Um, she's managing her pain with only Tylenol at this point. She doesn't really want the weapons grade stuff that they gave her uh, at the hospital, which is good. You know, I'm, I'm pleased with that. Um, and uh, she seems to be um able to put more weight on it every day and they didn't give her any restrictions they just said you know put more weight on it as you can tolerate having weight on it so she's you know the first couple days she was using crutches and she was using both of them and today she was only using one and she was not even using that half the time so She's, uh, she's doing okay. She's doing okay. She seems to be recovering quite well from her surgery. Um, thank you very much for asking. And she's probably asleep by now, but if she's not, hi. Um, yeah, she had a, a piece of, they think it was a piece of cartilage or something that broke off. Uh, and it was, about the size of a jelly bean, like a jelly belly, not a big jelly bean, not like one of those massive Brock's things, but a, a little jelly bean. So she got a t-shirt, 
that has a jelly bean on it and he's got little horns and he's got a little pitchfork and it says mean, mean jelly bean. And she ordered little small packets of jelly bellies for everybody at the, uh, you know, for pre-op and for OR and recovery room, all those folks. And she was giving out little jelly beans, little packets of jelly beans, mean, mean jelly beans. So that was pretty cool. Um, and people are like, wait, you really brought these for us? Yeah. There are some people who actually think about the hospital staff, like, you know, and she, she knows that when I went in for my hysterectomy, I baked cookies, even though I was NPO the night before I baked cookies the night before for my, uh, pre-op staff, OR team, recovery room team and on the uh, the team on the surgical floor where I spent the night. So everybody got cookies because I knew I'd probably be too jacked up on the drugs to be able to say thank you to half of them. So, yeah, that's how we did that. And, um, yeah, just a lot of times hospital staff don't get that. They don't get it. And, uh, and it sucks. It sucks that they don't because, man, they work hard. And they literally have our lives in their hands. So, wow, 38 people in here. Crap, that's crazy. I love it. Let's say hi to some folks, shall we? Let's say hi to Janet G, for example. She's first. I love it. Pamela S.P. Butterfly is here. Ryan Bremer, hi, welcome back. Good to see you. Here's our sum sum taking us to church this evening. Ms. North by God, Georgia is in here. And so is Hef. Hello, inappropriate Heifer, my dearest. Hello, Susie Oberholtz. Hi, lovely. Good to see you. Third Eye Open is here with greetings and salivation, uh, salutations for everybody. Kimberly Gabaldon is here. We love to see it. Who do we have? Yeah, a nice little compliment for our summer with uh, Janet G saying that summer's voice is great. And I agree. Brian Lucas, good morning. Yes. Hi, hallelujah and praise you. Damn right. Good morning, Ms. Maya. Good to see you. And I think I saw Ms. Ekblama in here too. So good morning to you. It's time to go live. Yes, Marla Dillard. Yes, girl. Alan Ballantyne. Good eye, good eye. Good to see you. Deirdre Nikolai. Howdy. Hey. Very nice. Here's rocking it out for life, Kim D. Good to see ya. Mark Hardman, every week is a week closer to the cruise. Take me away now. I know we are 155 days. Actually, it's after midnight here. So 154 days away from the cruise. Can you stand it? We're trying to figure out how to get uh, Spanch Calhoun on the cruise with us. I know that Calhounis wants to go. And uh, he was saying today how he really loves to be on the water. So um, we need to figure out how to get Calhounis on the cruise. That's what I'm saying. It is now also actually 420. Yes, Brian, you are absolutely correct. It is 420. Dang. Judy Lee is here. Hello, Judy Lee. Good to see you. And SP Fanny, she's got him out. Good on you. Psych on the rocks. Hi, everybody. Just woke up grabbing snacks and smoking a cigarette. Get it, girl. Do your thing. Woohoo. Yeah, we are happy to see Mark Hardman in here. Uh, let's see who we got. Ah, yes. Very first one of the night. And why not? You know, let's rock that TGIF. Let's get this weekend started. With a hearty Zenu Marlene. Zenu Marlene. Everybody partake. Cheers.
Yeah, this is the first 420 in Hoth where it's actually been legal to celebrate it. So that's kind of exciting. And Casillas is here. Good to see you, lady. Oh, there she is. There's Ms. Ekblama. Very nice from Sweet. Then. <laughs> yes, yes. Third Eye Open makes a good point here because, of course, YouTube has been up to its tricks. Please hit the like or the dislike, whichever you choose. I'd prefer a like, but you know, hey, any engagement is good engagement. And uh, please check to see that you're still subscribed. YouTube has been up to its tricks and deciding that uh, it's going to randomly unsubscribe people again. So hit that subscribe if you haven't already and uh, enjoy how painless it is to subscribe to the channel. Um, you can uh, you can also tickle my bell and select all for all notifications. And that way you'll know whenever my random ass goes online. Um, I only know what I'm doing about five minutes before I go online. And I'll be honest with you, I was taking a power nap on the couch. Uh, woke up a little bit later than, got up a little bit later than I wanted to. Woke up on time, had my alarm go off. I woke up. And I just didn't want to leave the nice, warm, comfy, warm. That's how it goes. Um, but yeah, if you could verify that you're subscribed, that would be fantastically tastic. And we have also, we do have memberships. If you're brand new here, we have memberships. We have one level only, and that's $2.99. You can join us in the corner booth and be one of the dirty stay ups and get a little special little badge next to your name and use all the really cool emojis and all sorts of fun stuff. It's good times. Good times. Anne Maria Plevier. Hello. Oh, that time again. So early now with daylight savings. Really? Interesting. Today is pizza party, Ryan Bremer. Where are you? I want pizza. Oh, pizza party for you, Ryan Bremer. Oh, I see. Pizza for you. Did you bring enough to share with the rest of the booth? Have she is determined to heal up. Yes, she is. Yeah, we got all the boys back. We love it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. FYI, our Dawn Gloves did her first live this evening and got DOA to plug her channel. Nice. Dawn, I didn't know you were going to do that. I love it. I'm going to have to go check it out. Pub Groomer 20. Hey, Jen. Good to see ya. Pimp Heifer at your service. Yeah, Hef has been... Big pimpin. Hey, Carrie Ann. Good to see you. The switch at 6 p.m. to uh, the the it's at 7 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Is that when you're having pizza, Ryan? Where are you, Ryan Bremer? Hey, Chow. Hey, Matrix. Good to see you. Happy you're here. And it's Minsky's. I don't really know anything about that. I'm afraid. Cricket, that is a really nice thing to do for healthcare workers. Absolutely. Absolutely. I know they earn it. I know they earn it. So it's the very least I can do. And Casillas, holy cow, I know I missed some, but it's good to see so many in here. I know. It's amazing. I'm loving it. Anne-Marie Plevier is sewing up your new knitted vest. Very nice. Hey guys, I just did my first live ever. I'm so excited for you, Dawn. Looks like it's still uploading, but I'll send Cricket the link in a bit. Thanks everybody that showed up for me. I am so glad. I wish I had known. I would have totally tuned in. Ryan Bremer needs some hugs. 
Okay. Somebody give Ryan Bremich some hugs. He needs hugs. Can't stay long. Little one's birthday party is tomorrow afternoon. Still got stuff to do in the morning. All right, Miss Sunrise Dawn, we'll get you some rest because that little one is going to be running you ragged and she's going to be all jacked up on the sugar. Kristen with a C is here. Hello, hello. Good for you. Thank you for visiting. Care for JC. Hi. Oh, my goodness gracious. Jen Sissick. Hi, welcome. Catching up on 2X, very nice. You get chipmunk me. Anne Maria, how do you share a photo? Um, you can just email it to me, uh, chowyansmut at gmail.com. It's down below in the description box. Um, and then I'll have it and I'll be able to show everybody. Do, do, do. A lot of people want to go on the cruise matrix. Well, I've still got room and I've got four more days to take deposits at the group rate. So yes, I can see you matrix. Ryan Bremer is not ready for a pizza party tonight. And yes, other people can see you too matrix. So it looks like you're good. Way to go, Hoth. Yeah, I know, right? And same there in Ohio. Very nice, Huff. We love it. Sophia's here. Can I be clueless? What is 420? 420 is a, a holiday where people celebrate weed. They celebrate cannabis and uh, they smoke it a lot or imbibe in other ways, indulge in other ways, edibles, etc. So that's what today is. And now that it's after midnight and people are celebrating the crap out of it, I think they probably started at midnight. I don't know how well they're going to be able to remain awake, but I guess that depends on what strain you're using as well. Sophia is here. We see you. Good morning. Guten Morgen. And uh, Sandy Wandy. Hola. Good to see you. How could I sound whiter? Oh, la. <laughs> mm. I have a weird YouTube problem on the replays. None of the posts by smoke are visible to me. Any ideas? Yes. If you switch your chat, there should be, if you're watching on a computer above the chat, it should say top chat and should have a little down arrow next to it. If you click that, you'll be able to switch between top chat and live chat. And the live chat shows you all the chat messages. Not everybody shows up in top chat for whatever reason. And I don't know why. So it's just force of habit for me now that anytime I go in to um, anybody's live stream, I switch the chat from top chat to live chat. Um, if you don't have it, or if you're not watching on a computer and you don't have it over here, then down here, there should be three little lines with like what look like little slider arrows on them. And if you click that, you should be able to switch between the different kinds of chat there. So fingers crossed that helps for you. Gretchen only is here. Hi, y'all. Happy Friday. I was told by my doc I need a low-carb diet. Yeah. So Gretchen, I think, might be popping into keto land with us. Um, and uh, the difficulty level is she is also gluten-free. So if anybody has gluten-free keto ideas for our Gretchen, that would be awesome. Aaron interviewed a guy who was in Landmark for 26 years and had been on staff. He's inspired by the SPTV community and is going to start a channel for people getting out of Landmark. Kimberly, that's amazing. Now, I saw that he had done a deep dive, like a two-hour video on Landmark. And I put it in my watch later list because... I'm like, well, this is certainly relevant to some of the people in my audience. Yeah. 
So I'm really glad that you caught that. And I am super happy to know that uh, I managed to catch it. How can I have a late night snack without carbs? Boo hoo. Bacon. Bacon makes a good late night snack. Bacon's kind of the best all the time. Um, I use the bread that I sent you a photo of the package and, uh, I, um, I make toast on it, very lightly toasted, and then I butter the crap out of it. And then I put peanut butter and, uh, no sugar added homemade jelly on it. That's what I do. Your mileage may vary. Um, there are plenty of low carb late night snacks. Deirdre Nikolai just did the join. Thank you very much. SP Fanny. Yes, girl. Let's see. Dawn Gloves just had pizza. Nice. Matrix got you a keyboard for your tablet. Well, aren't you fancy? One of my friend's mom was in Landmark or Est. Okay. The boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. We love it. Heather McLaughlin is here. Hi, Heather McLaughlin. Good to see ya. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. No, I don't think that's it, Mark Hardman. You should be able to just switch to live chat and be fine with it. Ooh, Matrix is going live at 8.15 a.m. Now we need to know what time zone you're in so that we can all, you know, make sure that we can get there. Kimberly Gabble Dawn wants pizza. Okay, that's fair. I think we all want pizza now. Hello, Diana S., it was very spur of the moment, says Dawn Gloves, RN, SP. Had to bring the kiddo out to LA again and thought I'd just see what's going on at La Trash Bin, La Poop Bell. So, yeah, good for you. I'll check it out. Smoke is not in here quite yet, uh, Miss Sunrise Dawn, not yet. Um, I am, or at least I haven't seen him, but I know that I'm also about nine minutes behind schedule. Our ball stats are on the rise. Yes, they are. We love it. Uh, yeah, you'll get used to the low carb diet and it, it, it does work. It can be amazing. Um, I blame my mood for not getting to sleep until 11 a.m. this morning and then slept six hours. Ew, that's it. I'm so sorry. Yes, the hospital folks are so important. Um, they deserve to be valued a lot more than they get. The stupid thing about today is I get to see my ex-girlfriend for no reason. Ew, I'm sorry, Ryan. That won't be fun. But look at all these people sending you hugs. Yeah, that's bad. That's not fun. Matrix is here for the cooter talk. Fair. Um, let's see here. You are glad to be seen here. Yes, we definitely see you. We see you. It's police code for Mary Jane. Yep. 420 days, Sandy Wandy. Yes, indeed. It's the weed holiday. It's Christmas for weed smokers. I don't know where smoke is tonight. Speaking of weed. Uh, la la la. Ooh. Hubby bought Entenman. I'm assuming you mean Entenman because I don't know what Entimiman are, but I think you mean Entenman. 
glazed donuts. Wow. Surprised how tasty. You know, I could good, uh, I could use a good thrush donut. I'm late. Good evening, morning, all. That's all right. You're here. And that's what matters, Kim White. We're happy that you're here. Matrix, you just changed yours to live chat. Very nice. Ooh, next to uh, International Star Wars Day. It's May the 4th. Yes, yes, May the 4th be with you. Uh, 420 is Brian's favorite made-up modern holiday. I agree. Yeah, Matrix, I wish that was the uh, the default, too. And I don't understand why it's not. I think it's dumb. Ryan Bremer needs hugs. Half doesn't know anything about Landmark. Is it a farm thing? It is not. Uh, it is the offspring of Est, E-S-T. Um, and it's, it's uh, referred to in uh, culty circles as an LGAT large group awareness training. Um, they have big weekend seminars and shit. And that's, that's how that works. Um, Landmark, how interesting. Yes, let's call out for smoke. He isn't here tonight, but I'll go back to last night and check my work around. Oh. I have understood that top chat is filtered from spam and naughty chat. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Bacon is life. YouTube sucks. Bacon! Aaron's interview was extremely validating and encouraging. Can't wait for that channel to start up. Yeah, for sure. My low carb situation is first world problems. I was just being silly. Well, you know, when you're tossed into a newly restrictive diet or advised into a newly restrictive diet, that actually can be pretty terrifying. So I don't think it's necessarily first world problems. And I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't downplay it as such. Um, nah, because, you know, it's a whole new adjustment. And speak of the devil and the devil appears. Here's Smoke. Hi, Smoke. Hi, Seventh. Good to see you. Ahoy, hoy. Sandy Wandy's having breakfast. Very nice. And Casillas can see him now. Uh, let's see. Oh, Heather McLaughlin may have missed greeting some of you, but it wasn't on purpose. Let's see. Oh, yeah. And Pamela just sent me the link to Baby's First Live. Matrix is in Eastern time. Can we have a link to Matrix's channel? Yeah, we'll need one. Um, Matrix, is your channel the username that we see here? Is that your channel name? Anne Maria Plevier sent me an email. Fantastic. Oh, ew. I feel like my ex girlfriend is stalking me when I hang out with my friends. She is always invited. Maybe you need to talk to your friends and say, um, could you not? Maybe. Yeah, because that's that's just rude. That's rude. If they know that you broke up, I mean, unless they're trying to let you know that you broke up for dick reasons. Um, but still you, you do need to have a conversation with your friends about it to hospital people. Let's Zenu Marlene to hospital staff. Cause man, they've been going through it for the last couple of years. Have they not?
Cheers. I will hoist a glass to them all the time. Reese's live was so poignant. It was so brave of her to share the details of Fred's passing. When she showed the video clip, I lost control of my tear ducts. Yeah. Yeah. And it makes sense that you would. It was, it was pretty serious. It's pretty serious. So, um, and it was, it was brave of her to share that. I mean, it was just, she's talked about it before, but that was, that was something else. That was a step beyond. And, uh, the fact that she chose to share that is, um, it's risky. It is brave. She put herself out on a limb with that one. And I'm, I'm really proud of her for that. Um, we know Reese as being, um, really, no boundaries, kind of share anything. But it's clear that there are some things that she's been holding back. And she's owed those things. She's allowed to have them. That was, that was something else, though. It really was something else. And um, I need to go back and watch it because I was otherwise occupied. I was in the chat, but I was having to concentrate on, like, six different things at once. Um, so I do need to go back and watch it again, but yeah, that was, that was quite something else, especially sharing that video. That was amazing. Probably her parents, Jilbo Baggins. She is here. Good morning. Good to see you. Ooh, Pamela says, forget the pizza. We had amazing Indian yellow curry last night, uh, tonight. Nice. Very nice. I love you could hear me and kind of get a feel for my humor in my text messages now. Thank you. Yeah, we love having you around. Matrix is going to try to sleep. We love you right back, honey. Only the fellow stoners see you. That's funny. Ryan Bremer, I don't deserve this. No, you don't. Oh, half you have a place called Landmark and it's Farm Supply. That's funny. Do do Landmark is heinous. Yeah, it's it's pretty pretty awful. Retired Red, hi, good to see you. Welcome back. And Jazzy Girl Sarah is here. My goodness. I am not ignoring you. You stop that right now, Smoke. Oh, good. Good. It worked. Yay. I'm so glad it worked. Do, do, do. When she came into Kelly's live last night, it sort of felt like mom crashing the slumber party. What? Hey. Like the naughty talk, definitely changing it now. Yeah. It is. Okay. All right. Thank you, Matrix. So, uh, let's see. If you want to check out Matrix's channel, 8.15 Eastern Time, AM, I'll be asleep, but resin 8 with Matrix Rabbit. Oh, one, five, seven. I'm somebody tell me if that works. Cause I just put a link to matrix's channel in there and I'm not sure whether or not it's going to work because there's a, 
a slash in their username. And I don't know if the slash needs to be um, in there. Sunshine's fell asleep in the bathroom. Have we done drugs? I don't know. You don't have to go, Ryan. Yeah, you do need new friends. Retired redhead Chinese for dinner tonight. That sounds delicious. I get it. My ex-girlfriend doesn't want me to hang out with my friends. Well, that's rude, though. She can go make some other friends. What the hell? Uh, let's see. Let me get back to where I was. Hell, I have to bail before the outro because seeing him playing the piano. I hear you, Seventh. Miss Reese is live. I'll have to go watch. It is uh, just have tissues nearby, Pamela. Had to duck out when Reese showed that video. Too triggering for me. That's fair enough, Jillbo. And I'm certain that she understands. I was dragged along to a landmark thing by my friends in the 90s. I walked out mid lecture. It was very hard to not just sit there, but all the rah-rah shit just rubs me the wrong way. Yeah. Yeah, I hear that. That video was hard to watch, but you could legit feel the love in it. Yes, you could. On the cruise, can three people stay in a cove balcony room or is it limited to two? I believe they can sleep up to three. I believe they can. That video clip does it every time. Yeah. Oh, wait. Is Denver, did Denver Stebo sneak in here? Or is this is seventh? Are they talking to seventh? Mary's here. Hi, Mary. Good to see you. I was so nervous. The first time is always memorable. I know. You never forget your first, do you? It was really cool to see you in there, by the way. Smoke. But I feel really bad that somebody said that it felt like mom was crashing the party. I didn't. I don't want to crash the party. And I got there and then everybody's like, okay, you got to go. Okay, let's see. Yes, Ryan, you need new friends. David Devine. Hi, welcome back. Good to see you. Yeah, I do love how... Reese makes the age gap between her and Fred seem so normal. She really does because it was so much love. This joke will be funny in six minutes when read. Okay, well, it's four, wise ass, but is that a cue? Is what a cue? And I love that red shirt you have on tonight. Well, I don't have a red shirt on tonight, but thank you. I don't know if, if I, 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 is what a cue? What, the zero that I had on my light board? I'm confused. You confuse me, Smoke. Yes, Landmark Education, Landmark Worldwide. They're terrible. And see, yes, is falling asleep. All right. All right, honey. Go to sleep. Get some, get some rest. Sleep sweet. See you tomorrow. One thing Landmark went on about, it said if you couldn't afford their courses, you were told you were making excuses and sabotaging your own progress. Yeah. Yeah. And you know how I feel about that? Yeah. Do, do, do. It didn't work for you? All right. I'll have to figure it out then. I'll have to figure it out. Thanks, guys. I will figure it out. Um, probably not right now because I'm in the middle of a show. Um, but I will figure it out. Um, didn't work for you. Son of a bitch. Sorry, guys. Sorry. I'm trying. I don't know what I'm doing. 
Didn't work for you. I'm going to hop back into the frame. My battery won't par charge past 33% for some dumbass reason. So I'm going to go radio silent. I'll catch the rest on replay. We love you, babe. Rest well. And uh, I hope... I hope very much that you have an opportunity to uh, get your battery to get it shit together. Sorry about that. What's with the boobies, says Anne-Maria Plevier. Are you talking about the ones in the, uh, in the emojis, the tatas? Basically, what happens is this chat started out and... People would show up and make boobs in the chat just to say hi. It was just, hello, I am here, and here are my breasts. Um, and so they would make boobs out of the characters in the on the keyboard. Um, so we gave them a, a Tata's emoji, because why not, right? People want to get them out. May as well let them. It's after midnight. We're fine. Bridget Alexander has missed us all, and we have missed you. So we're glad you're here. Bad link. Yes, thank you. I got it. Great show, says David Devine. Well, thank you very much, sir. Rick Spicer is here. Hi. Nice to see you all. Hey, Alan Jones, Summer Jilbo. Oh, my God. You're saying hi to everybody. That's amazing. Good job. Hef doesn't do rah-rah shit. Bridget Alexander has missed it. She's been so busy, and that's okay. You can always feel the love when Reese talks about Fred. One thousand million percent. I agree with you completely. Well, Ryan, you need to tell her to back the hell on off. Kelly was tired, tired her channel, her rules. Okay, that's fair. And I'm not going to fight that at all. I just, you know, saw a comment about it felt like mom came in when I stomped into the chat and said hello. <sighs> I've been in balcony rooms that slept three. In fact, it was on the magic. Some may not. So you need to ask about a specific cabin. Yeah, I'll be checking. I'm fairly certain the Cove balconies can sleep three. Um, but I'd, I would... You know, if somebody wanted to hop in on a cove balcony, I would um, I would call Carnival to make sure, or I would check on the on the individual reservation as well. I've been doing this a few a few years. Do do Daniel Sander is here. Hello, Daniel Sander. Nerd locked in the corporate world. It's very sad, Mark. I've been there. And now everybody's putting boobies in the chat. We love it. Pamela SP Butterfly got hers checked by a doctor today. We love it. We love it. Keep them safe. Aw, oh, Janet G. Honey, you didn't have to super chat me, but thank you. I'm sorry I only meant it as a joke. You are the mother of this channel, queen of the dirty stay-ups. And as for timing, I think Kelly was getting tired. Love you, Cricket. Thank you so much. Um, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I was I was actually really kind of worried. I'm like, oh my God, I just got here and now they're signing off. What did I do? I offend? Uh, but apparently not. So that's good. I'm I'm glad. Ah, okay, so no dash, no dash, blessed to crochet. Yeah, bring us with you, Ryan Bremer. Um, all right, I'm going to try this again. Y'all can tell me. Eight with me, tricks, rabbit, oh, 0157. All right. Uh, Alan, Alan, Alan. I'm putting a link in the chat. Alan, check to see if it works. 
That way I don't have 97 of you telling me it doesn't work. A uh, blessed to crochet. Yes, she does need some subscribers, please. Um, and she, uh, everybody should subscribe to her. She's only 19 away from 400. Holy crap in a basket. Okay. Tube.com slash blessed to crochet. I know that she posts uh, in my comments frequently and she as i have told people to do if you need subscribers post in my comments and that way after the video if you post in the comments all we have to do is click on you and we can go right to your page and subscribe so she's doing exactly what i have asked people to do and uh, i've also just put her address in the chat so that you guys can uh, can go and sub up to Mary because she is amazing and she's she's doing great work. People are rocking out with the tatas, and because Mark Hardman is Mark Hardman, we get this one. Because if people are going to get their tatas out, he should be allowed to be balls out, and I approve very strongly. That emoji does not reflect the largest of my tatas. Well, it doesn't reflect the largest of mine either. But we work with what we got, babe. Let's see. Oh, Summer Savage is going to talk to your damn friends, Ryan. She will let them know, too. You don't want this girl telling your friends because they will stay told. It worked. Yay. Thank you, Retired Red. Thank you, everybody. And everybody all subbed up. We love it. Yes, that's why I do that every single time, Red. Yes, yes, that's on purpose. And sometimes we have both Alan, Alan, Alan. No, no, it's not Alan. Steve, Steve, Steve. Yeah, sometimes we'll have both of them in here. And then my poor little heart just about overloads with joy because then I can taunt them both. Oh, I love taunting them. Yes, we'll send angry Ella to your friends, Ryan, and nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. Mary's link is broken? Son of a bitch. Ella's channel, Ella doesn't have a channel. Ella's just here. She is, uh, she's, she's here, right here next to me. And she looks Ms. Blessed to Crochet. The link went nowhere, but I think I'm subbed. Okay. Baseballs. Hmm. Smoke has basketballs, which I imagine. How uh do you have to have your pants custom made? It seems like that would be challenging. Blessed to crochet. What the F did I, what did I type? What did I type? Did I just completely fuck up? What did I type? That one didn't work. Oh, because I didn't put the at because I'm a bimbo. We aren't talking about Alan Dershowitz here. No, Daniel Sander, we are not. All right, hang on. I'll get it. I'll get it. I forgot the at sign, y'all. That's my bad. Okay. Yes, yes, Anne Maria Plevier. Absolutely. Just like that. Nike makes your pants. I just figured if they were that big, 
you would probably need custom pants. Bridget Alexander, I've put a fresh link in the chat that should work to get to Mary's, uh, get to Mary's channel for sure. Um, this, this is Ella. This is our girl. Hi, Susan P. Good to see you. Um, those of you who are triggered by Ella's angry face, please look away. Um, I was going to use footballs, but I saw serious questions about deformed balls. Yes, or deflated ones. Thank you. I'm here all night. That's right. Thank you. I will be here all the week. Try the schnitzel. Please remember to try your waitress. Tip the view. This is Ella. If you are triggered or afraid of Ella's mad face, turn away now. Ryan, are you watching? This is what happens when Ella gets angry. She gets very mad. Sometimes she just looks a little bit pathetic, a little bit sad. But then she gets really angry. So, people who are triggered by Ella's angry face, you can come back now. She's done. Yes, Bridget Alexander. Oh my God, is right. She is something else. Isn't it amazing, Smoke? I have a bunny back here that does the same thing. They're amazing. This uh, this channel is not sponsored by Feisty Pets. But I kind of wish we were. Because that would be amazing. We love Feisty Pets. Feisty Pets. Or email me. Whatever. Send me an email. I would love that. Also sent you a pic for Ryan to use. Thank you, Kimberly. Ella is awesome. Oh, and she says, thank you for calling her a cutie, Sophia. She loves that. She seems very happy. Um, yes, Mary is making a very special gift for all the people who are going on the cruise. Ella makes my trigger finger twitch. You pipe down right now, Daniel Sander. Go to the range for that. As a kid, we had custom pants and clothes. Farm, not as fancy as it sounds. Well, yeah, that, that makes sense. Yes, that's Ella. Bridget Alexander, welcome to Ella. She just is very mad and very fierce. She's very mad. She can become very angry. I think she represents the duality in us all and the inner rage that we all can have. And a lot of people like to think that they can maybe take advantage of us because we look so nice on the outside. Not me. Um, I have resting bitch face, so there's no to be done for that. But um, a lot of us look really nice on the outside and they don't expect the rage that lives within us. Sometimes you just got to let your Ella out. Can't look and catch these hands. No, Ella would bite the fingers off. Retired Red, I need a ladybug like that. I don't know if they have ladybugs. Everyone who gets goes on the cruise should get one and show them to little Davy. I just snorted off my CPAP mask seeing Ella's expressions. Nice. Nice third eye open. That's delightful. Yay, everybody. Sub to Mary. Now I understand why you have Ella babysit us. Yes, Bridget. That is why. When I have to scamper away from this chair, I leave Ella in charge because she will let me know. She'll let me know if you guys were misbehaving. 
misbehaving. Plus, if you have a channel, a part of the Lifeboat crew are getting a list, list together for Spanks and the crew. I post on the Lifeboat Facebook group, or you can email your info. And I'm on the list. Well, thank you very much. I love that. Anne Maria Plevier is built for speed, not comfort. That's fair. I'm like, oh, a 50 year old and her stuffed animal, not at it all. Not odd at all. Nice save. Yeah, thanks. Thought you might like that. There is the Feisty Pets goat. Yes, there is. There's a goat. There's a dragon. Uh, I have the unicorn. And we have the bunny here, too. A Feisty Pets praying mantis would be hilarious. And and a, a praying mantis mate whose head comes off, I think, would be kind of perfect. Mary's back is slowly getting better after tricking over the vacuum cord on Tuesday. Good. I'm glad to hear that. I've, I've completely fucked myself up by picking up a few cassette tapes off of the floor. Yeah. So I understand how stupid, stupid things can wind up leaving you crippled. I have a few stuffed animals with a feisty side. There's a bunny that will make you race to the toilet by spicing it up. Nice, Sophia. City ladies were not attracted to the farm haircut, no matter what size bowl you used. Man. Yeah, they're not into the uh, the flow bee either. Cricket, did you name Ella or do they come with names? I believe they come with names, but I named Ella. I changed her name. Let me restate that stupid vacuum cord. Yes, it is dumb. Deirdre Nikolai wants the dragon. I love the praying mantis. They are so cool. They are lovely. See, Miss Sunrise Dawn, you sing that song. But since now we have an emoji, I say you can emoji my angry Ella. Ella, Ella, eh, eh, eh. Emoji my angry Ella, Ella, Ella. Yeah. So, yeah. I do that. Sunshines has a flow bee. Nice. Well, some people are better at using them than others. I'm going to say. But yeah, we, we love Ella. We love Ella. We love her beautiful flowing purple mane and her lovely little taily and she just sits here and hangs out with all of us and i swear to god that's not dried blood i have no idea where she would get dried blood no idea yeah she's a good girl she's very sweet yes there are several types for your stuffed angry pleasure they are called feisty pets and they are awesome. And I love them. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. So, yeah. Feisty pets. Now, we are a little bit late for this. But it's probably as good a time as any. Plus, if somebody comes in late and saying, Oh my God, did I miss it? Like last night when, uh, what was his name? Kevin? came in like at quarter after, well, he's still going to have missed it, but at least he'll only have to go back about nine minutes now. For night meds, take your night meds. It's a modern pharmacology. Night meds, time for night meds. They can help your physiology. Take them well before you go to sleep. They work while you're busy counting sheep. When you take your night meds, it's a happy, healthy snooze time. A snorry snooze time. We'll have a sleepy time. Night meds. Remember to sip first. So the melatonin or the levothyroxine or whatever doesn't stick.
Mary goes to the mom salon for her haircut and she uses the Floby. Nice. Seventh, you accidentally bought Rude Alf the blood nose reindeer for my grandniece. Didn't realize it was feisty. Oh, shit. That's funny, though. That is funny. Not going to lie. Wow. Wonder what little Davy would think seeing angry Ella. Well, he's just about small enough so that she could bite his head off. So I, I kind of hope that he would run. Ah, Christie's boutique. Here she is. Finally made it. Just finished working and getting all three dogs to bed. Very nice. Care for JC, just looked it up, and I like the cats. I'll tell you what, if you get them, I don't expect a sponsorship. I don't expect shit. But if you get them, when Amazon asks you to leave a review, tell them where you heard about it. Maybe. I wouldn't consider myself an influencer by any means. Um, I'm just saying. Good day, Koala Crofts. Good to see ya. Yeah, I'm just saying. If you get one and Amazon pesters you to, um, to leave a review anyway, right? You could do worse than say, well, we watched this show, see, on the tubes. And uh, we would love to let you know where we heard about it. This is the bunny. He's got very small little ears. Here he is. I don't know what his name is. I'm not going to make him angry. But he does the same thing. Hi, Susan P. Good to see ya. So anyway, yeah. Bunny. Ella, the unicorn. There are so many. So many different kinds. They're amazing. Speaking of fun things, I got a sign from my neighbors. I'm going to put it up outside. Might put it on the, uh, on the fence leading to the, uh, the raised beds garden that we have. And it's going to be backwards. I know, but it says hoeing ain't easy. And that is the truth. Hoeing ain't easy. So, that's going up. <sighs> Summer Savage is in parties and a tank top with the fans on. Parties. What? Autocock rocket? What? Psych on the rocks. I'm conflicted. I want to be awake, awake to smoke at 420, but I'm worried I might not wake up to my alarm, so I don't know to stay up or not stay up and take the chance. I always miss my brother slash smoking buddy on 420. I, uh... Can Maz make us a ho emoji? God, I bet she can. Maz is amazing. Hoeing ain't easy and hard on the upper thighs or hard on upper. Th I, I don't know. The bunny is Vicky Vicious. Okay. 
I don't know if my step, because I, I got him as a present for my stepdad, honestly, because he laughed so hard when he met Ella. So I got him the bunny. Um, and uh, I don't know if he changed her name ever. Chanzig, I wish my life was as simple as worrying about stuffed animals. Honey, my life is not as simple as worrying about stuffed animals. But you know what? Sometimes you got to let all the other shit go and focus on something else. You just got to. Um, heaven knows I have a lot more stuff going on in my life. But you find ways to cope. And one of the ways that I cope is having a stuffed animal who can be angry anytime she wants to be and viciously angry. Rabbit needs the feisty rabbit. She was popping off yesterday. Understandably. Okay. Well, now you know. Now you know what to do. Does she have a, a P.O. box listed where we can send her things? Because, yeah, she definitely needs that. She would trigger the shit out of half of her audience if she brought that little thing on... Uh, on her screen. And I think it would be hilarious. Let's see. Can Maz make us a hoe emoji? Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure she fucking can because she can make an emoji out of anything. She's amazing. And yeah, I I had to, I was late on it, but I had to send her photos of Ella because we needed Ella emojis big time in this room. Hell yes. Bridget Alexander, I just decided to start celebrating 420 at midnight. Got no sleep last night due to an unusually dramatic and stressful week. I am sorry to hear that your week was bullshit. Um, but I am glad that you're celebrating 420. Good for you. Panties. Panties and a tank top. Not parties. And a tank top. Although I feel like it would be a party if Summer was just wearing panties and was surrounded by fans. Either of the kind that generate a breeze or the kind that get together and create a club. Whatever kind of fans. Either way, I'm glad <laughs> that you're wearing panties, and I am so sorry that uh, it is too hot in your house. Care for JC, got the ceiling fan and another one directly on me. Yep, 420 just hit on the West Coast. Summer Savage is scared. Then don't smoke pot, not hard, definitely. Ho emoji would be a twin to the spatula. Oh, yeah. That actually looked nice. I really like it here, says Rick Spicer. The only filter is kindness. Pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, kind of how we operate here. Kindness is the key. Sometimes I do let the snark fly, but uh, I try not to be evil about it. It's a holiday you must sacrifice your sleep to St. Dubious. Stuffed animals bring joy. Good distraction is times. Yes. I just said I wish. No flack. Hey, Chanza, you know what? I wish that that was really my only challenge, too. I've just found it a different, found a different way to deal with it. That's all. And I'm glad that you're back, by the way. I didn't feel any flack. Ella did scare the shit out of me, but I understand her, so I'll get over it. Nice. Nice, Bridget. I believe in you. I have Ikea Shark because it's always available for consenting cuddles. That's nice. We love that. You don't know if she posts her email. I'll check. Thank you, Kimberly. Sarah has seen an adorable whale at Ikea. 
Summer's titties would be famous on OnlyFans. Jazzy girl Sarah, we bought a couple of piggy stuffies we bought at Ikea. Nice. Thought about living in another state, but the ones with high humidity might kill me. My dad had has a bunch of bunny stuffies in bed. He even makes sure my little heat fan is under the blanket. Oh, that's adorable. Oh my gosh, Sophia. Chanzig, I'm salty because I have to fill out divorce papers again after six years since California lost the paperwork, apparently. My bad. That blows, that blows rancid tofu yak balls substitute. And I'm sorry that you have to deal with that. You might need an angry plush toy. Learning to make stuffed animals on my embroidery machine. Ooh, nice. So if Bridget Alexander ends up typing worse than usual, we know why. And to cool off, yes. Yes. Zenu Marlene, y'all. Let's cool off. Let's take some deep breaths. Let's get Zen. Zena Marlene. Let's see. Who else do we have? Inappropriate. The humor that tickles. Yes, for sure. I'm being mean. I've been divorced from someone for six years and all of a sudden I'm still married and have to go fill everything out and she's out of state. It's such a mess. I'm sorry. And and that stinks. I know somebody who's been trying to get divorced for um, almost as long, actually. Only they're here on Hoth and their spouse, former spouse, whatever, is in California and they would like to move on. Well, the former spouse wouldn't, but this person would like to move on and get on with their life and do the things. I understand that you're upset and you are allowed to be upset. It's okay. Blow off steam. I don't blame you. I'd be pissed off too. Reason 9,371 why I never got married. <sighs> yeah, but you're okay. You're okay. I ain't mad at you. You're fine. Be more cordial if you choose. Be a surly bitch if you choose. Like, whatever you want to do, bro. You're good. We have a whole house fan. It cools the attic, then cools the house. That's nice. Nice Christie's Boutique. Oh, Sandy Wandy. That happened to her. Same thing that happened to Chanzig. Or a firecracker and an angry devil doll thing. Okay. Several years ago, we found a cute... We found a unicorn stuffy abandoned in the rain on a street corner. We rescued it and laundered it. Someone had also burned two of its hooves. I sewed them up. We still have it. Well, you know what? That is rescue work right there. And I applaud you, Jazzy Girl Sarah. Good for you. Half can't type and it's all Brian's fault. I believe that. Yeah, we're all total bitches sometimes. Happens to the best of us. You're good, bro. Don't sweat it. Don't sweat it. I appreciate you giving, um, you know, acknowledging that you're in a shit mood. But, uh, yeah, you're good. You're good. And if there's anything that we can do to help alleviate your mood. 
We sure will. We both would like that, but the paperwork is atrocious. I paid $1,000 for it to be done, and the state's like, nope, sorry, we lost that. That's stupid. That's super dumb. Can't blame you for being upset. Yeah, a lot of people in here are uh, totally able to identify. Made a voodoo doll a while back, Sophia says. Boy, he's a feisty one. Mm -hmm. We like feisty up in here. Feisty! We like the feisty pets. We like feisty voodoo dolls. We like the feisty feisty. I'm down with feisty in all of its forms. Yes. Yes, I am. Nice try! Y'all see what he's doing here? This is what he's doing here. Well done. Well done. I'm not going to take my shirt off. And if I meditated in front of the camera, it would be boring AF. But good work. Well played. Happened to a friend. It took three tries to get the paperwork right and about two years here in Riverside County. It just plain sucks. Yes, it does. I want to get divorced. Thing is, I'm not and have never been married. I just think it would be too cool to do a divorce photo shirt. <laughs> ah, divorce photo shoot. Nice. Speaking of photos, let's see what we have to share. Because people have been sending some things to share. Let's see. Do 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 Okay. Here's the unicorn that Jazzy Girl Sarah sewed up. There's the little hoofy. Oh, Chanzig, you're in Chatworth. Or getting divorced in Chatsworth. Been there. Oh, this poor kid. Look at this poor little unicorn. Oh, so sad. Yeah, I've been to Chatsworth. And her name is Ursula. That's a great name. That's the wrong one. Where's my email? Do, 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 do. Do do. Okay, so let's see. We've got Pamela Rodman. Pamela uh Pammy 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 SP SP Butterfly. Pamela SP Butterfly. That's who she is. She uh she went to her OBGYN for her annual and she got a present. A little thank you note. And a Ferrero Rocher and some Uber Lube. Uber Lube. And I'm like, how come I never get a goodie bag when I go to the gyno? I've been going to rodeo appointments all wrong. Doc sent me to urgent care to make sure nothing was broken since my wrist was still bothering me. Thankfully, x rays confirmed my bones are fine. Oh, this is also Pamela S.P. Butterfly. And she has to wear this for two weeks. That stinks. It shouldn't be so difficult for people to say, leave me alone. I am there with you, Chanzig. 
All right, Anne Maria Plevier. Hi there from Australia. Here's a picture of the vest I've just finished and I'm sewing up. It's ended up with a big pink stripe across the boobs, but I'm just learning brioche knitting. So this is what it is, mistakes and all. Oh, I haven't even tried brioche knitting yet. I'm a little afraid. Not gonna lie. But here's the vest. That's beautiful. I am super envious. That's amazing. Beautiful work, Anne Maria. Shit. Kimberly. <laughs> Tell Ryan to show this to his ex. That's right. We know people who have snakes. Look how long she is. We love the pretty snakes. Beautiful danger noodle. We love the danger noodles. Oh, and here's smoke. Hope this bow tie makes you smile. Oh, shit. It's sh you guys. Are you ready? I don't know if you're ready for this. I am barely ready for this. How is this even happening? Also, that is a giant head on what seems to be a tiny body. I don't know anything about what's going on here, but there's smoke with a bowl haircut. I'm just going to sit here and, and let you guys gaze upon that. Yeah, Chatsworth, we were in Valencia, California, but they don't do family law. All that happened was W-2 wasn't recorded right now. California wants money. Jesus God. Fuck California in the goat ass. And I say this having lived there. Gross. Baby smoke do 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 baby smoke do 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 baby smoke do 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 baby smoke giant head do 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 sorry smoke I'm sorry I'm sorry that was rude I just it looks like a really large head on a very small body and I don't understand anything that's going on in that photo. <laughs> but the bow tie is adorable and the haircut is super cute. I think a lot of us had that same haircut for a while. Yeah, Anne Maria, you've got mad skills. That's that's beautiful. My doctor wants to chit chat about mortgages while I'm on the table. I'm an underwriter and I'm just like, just get on with it. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of going to the. Uh, going to the rodeo appointment. That's an annoying bracelet. What's an annoying bracelet, Sophia? Fucking Chatsworth. Yeah, everybody's saying that that smoke is adorable. And I should not have said unkind things about how tremendous the head looks on... You saw it. Your head is giant. Okay, good. Thank God I'm not the only one. Because, God, I'm a, I feel like a terrible human being because it just fell right out of my mouth. I loved Cali when I was younger going to Disney and shit. Now I hate it. Yeah, I, five years in LA and I said, you know what? We need to see other people. California, you and I, we need to. Yeah, this isn't good for either one of us. 
Chatsworth is a town in Ontario, says Rick Spicer. And yet there is also, I believe, an Ontario, California. The world is all higgledy-piggledy, Rick Spicer. I don't know what to tell you. Totally a Sears Studio production. Oh my God, third eye open. You are not joking. There you go. See, Chanzig, I hope baby big head smoke photo made you smile. Had a hysterectomy 12 years ago. I will take a few hot flashes over no exams and no more shark weeks. Christie's, no fucking shit. I had mine seven years ago now. And I'm still dancing down the femigile. Look at all the shit I never have to buy again. Oh, it makes me so happy. Oh, the wrist brace is an annoying bracelet. Yes, for sure. Oh, Olin Mills magic. Yes. Oh, totally a big head. Adorable big head. Okay, good. When my mom filled out paperwork to get her SSI, she got a, we don't have your naturalization papers on file. They eventually located her paperwork somehow. But of course. The snake would scare me away. However, I do want the black snake back in my yard from a few years ago to take care of the moles. Oh, I love indoor snakes. It went from fun to keeping up appearances. Yeah, no. And I never put up with any of that bullshit. I'm like, think what you will. I don't even have time for this vapid nonsense. So yeah, I, I fled. I go back and I visit for the few friends, the few actual friends that I have there and the really amazing food. And other than that, no, 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 no. Yep, having a hist was the best thing ever. It was a whole new world. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Got another one in a Boy Scout outfit with pants hiked up so high. Oh, my God, smoke. This is going to be amazing. And let's see. Some, some. K4, my head is also large, says Summer. There she is. My dad's classmate had to wear the haircut because her dad was the village barber and my dad had to go there too. We had this moment where we seriously wondered if this could become a thing and they'd want to deport her. Oi, oh my God, Kristen, I can't even imagine. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Hef, for that. Yeah, totally a Sears photo production right there. Unfortunate pause. Thank you very much, Hef. Thank you. That's, that's perfect. I didn't eat it. Did you eat it? Oh my God. That's funky. Jesus Christ. I love you people. I do. I think you're great. Very cute summer. Did mom make the dress? That's a good question. I see my nephew now to see him smile because he's a youngster. Other than that, I'm out. Yep. Yep. And look at Anne Maria just rolling around in all of the compliments that we gave her knitting. I love this. And also, I am terrified of brioche knitting. So, mad props, babe. Mad props. Because, shit. Scares the pants off of me. Um, that dress was a hand-me-down from an older cousin and mom did my hair. Oh, cute. Um, because it is not just 420, but also April 20th, I 
am raising a glass to Fred. I am raising a glass to Fred, and I think that I'm probably not the only one. I know he's rooting for her, and I know he's on her side. I also know that he's always with her, like the most persistent BT she could possibly have. And I support that. And I'm really glad that she's got him. So here's to Fred, y'all. If you have an opportunity today, raise a glass to Fred. He makes me proud. He got on the first base this week with an RBI. Nice. I have no idea what an RBI is, but it sounds like a good thing. To Fred. Thanks, everybody. To Fred. I know that Reese doesn't watch other shows, so she won't be watching this. She's probably crashed out asleep. I hope she is. But you guys, baby Hef. Wait, who's Fred? It's been a while since I've watched Reese. Fred was her husband who passed away. Baby Hef, you guys. Are you ready for Baby Hef? I was not ready for Baby Hef. Baby Hef, y'all. The inappropriate calf. There she is. All right. Well, if we're doing this. Not in there. Not in there. Not in there. Son of a bitch. Not in there. There is a baby me photo somewhere in this phone. Somehow I don't think it's in this folder. Nope. I do have such a good photo to show you guys. Where the F is it? Nope, that's not it. That's not it. Nope. Not in Katok. Frustrating. Every time I try to find just one stupid photo that I'm looking for, I can never find the effing thing. No, it's not in my Insta. 9,000 photos from Korea.
fabulous little brunch spot in Miami called Bacon Bitch. More photos of me dressed up as Richard Branson. Richard Branflakes. Oh, yeah, maybe it's my... I don't know why it would be in my camera. Now I'm just determined and pissy because somebody said we need baby crickets. So I'm trying. Also, here's a purple finch that we saw today. Super cute. Very handsome. Let's see. You've seen Teenage Me. I know I've shown you that. But I do have a photo of baby me up in here. Somewhere on this stinking device. I'm just not sure where it is. And I'm just going to try to keep talking. You can suck amongst yourselves. We got to go there. Some, we can make it happen. We can go there for brunch before we head over to the ship. I would be fine with that. It's delicious and nutritious. And it's called Bacon Bitch. Bitches love bacon. I walk, you walk in and they're like, hey, bitch. What's up, bitches? Three for brunch? I mean, it's for calculus. All right, that's New York, New York, New York, New York, New York. And Korea. Forever. Took a lot of photos in Korea, y'all. But yeah, we can definitely go to Bacon Bitch. Oh, Susan P. I think that's you. Sending me things. Okay, so I'm back home. Damn it. This is going to piss me off, y'all. I'm going to be so mad if I can't find this stupid photo. Because I was a little tiny, very blonde child. You wouldn't suspect it of me. Very blonde, like white blonde. Oh, retired red, you sent me yours. Okay. It's going to be a whole lot of I'll show you yours, you show me mine. Or I'll show you mine. I'll show you yours. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me, y'all. Yeah, I'll show you yours. See, Summer? Bitches love bacon. I'm going to be so mad. And the half of the show is going to be me just digging through my phone, trying to find an old fucking photo of myself. Frustrating. Would it be? Shouldn't be. But it might be. Might be in here, but of course it's not. Son of a bitch. I can't find it. Err. Angry. Very anger. Can't find it. Uh, Susan P. Here's Susan P. Little baby. Baby Susan. Super cute. 
Oh, yeah, grown up half. Janet G, you sent me yours. Fantastic. Oh, good. And now I think the. Oh, my God. All right. So here's smoke again. Janet G. Look at that cutie. Son of a bitch. And I won't be able to have it turned correctly. So you're just going to have to kind of look at it on an angle. Look how cute she is, though. You have a precious little face. Kim White, my sister took this years ago with an old Instamatic camera she had when we were kids. This was me with a neighbor kid. And again, if I turn it the way that it's supposed to be, it's going to wind up swapping on you. So just look at it at a tilt. Look at, son of a bitch, look at Kim White. Little tiny Kim White. Love it. For those who are divorcing. Oh, nice. Thank you, Pamela. I do. I did. I'm done. Divorced at last. There you go, Chanzig. Now you have a reason to get a cake. Christy's boutique. I was one month. Mom was 18. Dad was 21. He got home from Vietnam only days before my christening. My mom was so adorable. Oh my God. They were babies. Look at this. That's Christy's boutique. And your parents were only little. Five-year-old third eye open. Here she is. We love this. This is delightful. Oh my goodness. Retired Red, I thought you said you sent me yours. Did you send it in a text? No, I don't have it in a text from you. Fuck. Yeah, I'm far enough in the end of the stream. I can drop an F-bomb. All right, while we're waiting. Let's do another one. Because why not? Okay, let's see. Pictures. This is going to annoy the piss out of me, isn't it? Sure is. Do, do, do. As we wait, let us Zenu Marlene. Mm. Okay, what I like about this feature is that this has stuff from all the albums in one place. See, I know I snapped a photo of the damn thing recently. 
recently is relative, of course, but I know I did, and I know I showed it to people not that long ago, but we're back. All right, this is September, August. Ooh, paint chips. That's exciting. There's Launcher. We love her. Launcher is my void kitty. I love her. I love her. The ex has custody, but I love her. And I miss her terribly. This is the most spectacular mustache I have ever seen. And it was at the come and go in Uranus. I told him, I'm like, that is the most majestic mustache in the entire world. And I need a photo of it. May I take a photo of it? And he let me. He was very nice. How could I resist something like that? Another great photo of Launcher. Blah. She's a very silly girl. There it is. I found it, you guys. There's baby me. Little baby me. Tiny little diaper butt. Mary, blessed to crochet. I am on the left and my daughter on the right, taken at the same age. Oh my God, you do look exactly the same. Look at Mary and her daughter. They're perfect. Red, you said you sent yours to my email. Weird. I'll look again. <clears throat> Thank you, Half. Cockface. Okay. Oh, here's little red. Here's little retired red. Yeah, those were some serious hiked up pants smoke. Absolutely. With the, that is kind of a terrifying snowman behind you, but we'll, uh, we'll let it slide. Here's Kristen with a C with her little cute little self. Good night, Anne Maria Plavier. Go feed the ducks, duck, 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 ducks. Smoke. What the Billy Zapka is going on here? Look at Teenage Smoke. Look at that 80s hair. Sweet baby Jeebus. Oh, but then there's this, which is even better. Smoke is killing it tonight. The photo game is just out of control. That is some big old hair on your mama. Well done. Mm. 
Love the little velvet dresses. Precious, every last one of you guys. Ain't that the truth? Rocking, ooh, third eye open. Rocking the 70s shag cut in the Sears Portrait Studio. Fucking A. Third eye open. Wow. Three final ones inbound, says Smoke. Ooh, my dad loved Icy's. I know, isn't she a pretty girl? I love launcher. 70s were magical clothing times. Yes, mom's beehive hairdo. Void kitty. We love the void kitties. See, there's baby me. Little tiny me. Hi, people, places, and perspectives. Yeah, baby me was cute. What the hell happened? Too high to keep up, says Hef. Pamela loves seeing all these photos. Hi, ladies. I'm Teenage Smoke. Okay, so I have to read this. My dad loved Icy's and shared them with my daughter. She got a tattoo in remembrance of him. The guy at the 7-Eleven loves her story and gives her free Icy's. So there's Icy's. There's the two of them. And there's the tattoo. That's amazing. I love that. Yeah, your mama's beehive was something else. Aw, you guys, Glitterella. Look at Glitterella. Look at baby Glitterella. So cute. Oh my goodness. Ah, I can't stand it. Also, hi, Glitterella. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. This is amazing. Ooh, ooh. Stacy. Here's half. Still on the damn phone. Always on the phone. Yeah, that is an a that's a fantastic tattoo, and I love the story. That's amazing. You guys, what fun. This has been so much fun. I love it. Thank you so much for indulging me. I never know what way this chat is going to go. I don't know what's going to happen. I never have any clue. And I love it. I love it. I love the, the randomosity. I love the surprises. Yeah. We were just having fun tonight. Damn right, Smoke. We have a good time, and that's how we roll. Who's going pating pating? Ooh. Sum sum. It's not, you barely found one to send me, Sykes West. Did you find me one? This is Sophie, by the way. This is Summer's companion. But the fact that we can all relate is magical. I agree. I agree. But you know what? Everybody's got photos of themselves. And I love it. Look at this ridiculous dog. I love it. I think it's great. I think we, you know, we're all just 
hanging out, you know? I mean, if we were in Denny's and all we had was our phones, this program is not sponsored to you by Denny's, not brought to you by Denny's, but it could be. Um, oh, 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 here it is. It's Brian Lucas, ladies and gentlemen. It's baby Brian Lucas. We love it. We love it. And you were stinking adorable. Yep, the menu is always changing for sure. My big head photo was like, everyone was like, my head ain't that big. I'm a post big head was the ice cube breaker. It was the icebreaker. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. And I am here for it. Oh, oh, here she is. Little me and my aunt and probably my brother. Okay, so. Little baby psych sauced. And probably her little brother with her auntie. Look how cute. I love this. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, I mean, if we were just chilling in the corner booth along with everybody else, we'd be busting our phones out and showing people photos. And that's what it's just turned into. Oh, no. Who is this? Mary. Oh, she typing. She typing. I hear it. This little, this was my little lamb, my precious daughter. This is Mary's daughter. Look at the potato. What a happy potato. Delightful. And I missed a lot of the chat, I know. But yeah, you totally see Brian in there. 100%, Sophia. I'm laughing so hard. Tears are in my good eye and fat fingers and autocorrect on. Yes, I can't spell. Amazing. Right on, Smoke. See, that's that's what we want from people. We want to see people laughing so hard that they can't fucking type, that they get nailed by auto cock rocket. Ooh, my mom gotten hit by auto cock rocket. Bad, bad yesterday. She, I think she was trying to say that she was going to do, she was going to try to do some baking. And instead, her text said that she was going to do slime naming. And I went, ooh, slime naming. That sounds exciting. She said, what? I'm like, scroll up, mom. Read your previous text. She's like, oh, boy. Some baking. She's mad about it. It was pretty funny. Not going to lie. I lolled. She is grown now. Yes, the potato is all grown up. Oh, my Lord. Sum Sum, is this you? Baby. Baby Summer. Look at that kid. Amazing. I love this. I love it, y'all. I love the randomosity. This is what happens in the corner booth. Oh, Brian Lucas. It is fun when I laugh so hard I can't breathe. That is true. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you know what, though? I can see it here, too. 
you guys. Look at Brian Lucas and look at the eyelashes on this child. Look at baby Brian Lucas. Can you even stand it? I can't. That's amazing. Look how fresh you are. Well, yeah. If you ever had any doubts about the inappropriate heifer, pretty sure she's always like this. Pretty sure she's always like this. Great smile on you, though. I love it. <sighs> Boys always get the best eyelashes. That is absolutely the truth. Christy, Pamela, yes. That is absolutely the truth. My baby brother had such eyelashes, and he would flutter them at people, and everybody thought he was a little girl. He had a little curl to his hair. Ridiculous. And, uh, yeah. Hef be heffin'. That is the damn truth, Sophia. Hef be heffin'. I love that smile, though. That smile on you is the best. Better than better than just about anything that I've seen. It's it's just cuz that's a spontaneous smile. That is the I am creating trouble. I am causing hilarious chaos and I am enjoying the shit out of myself in the process. That's what that is. It's not Yes, it was posed, but it wasn't I'm smiling cuz I have no choice. You know, like, no, that was real. And I love it. And you have naturally curly hair. Damn it. Glitterella, though, you're friggin' adorable as well. So you just stop with your own self. Oh, Pamela sent teenage her. You got fired from that job eventually. Honey, they couldn't take it. Oh, my Lord. Okay. Oh, my God. Christie's Boutique. I'm in the plaid dress with my grandma, mom, and little sister. I mean... <laughs> I love this photo so much. Oh, I love that photo. That's amazing, Christy. Kimberly gabbled Dawn. Me when I was 26, can't find a baby photo. That's fine. Look at Kimberly when she was 26. What a pretty lady. Might have to go for a cup of coffee in a minute. It wakes me up in the morning and puts me to sleep in the middle of the night. You know what? It does that for me too, Mary. And it does it because um, it's a warm, soothing beverage. Here we've got Kim White dancing probably to the Go-Go's. She's the one in the red. Pamela S.P. Butterfly, teenage her. Here's teenage Pamela.
Yes, the pure joy we all show in those photos are heartwarming and pure. Very awesome. Yep. I love this. Oh, Kimberly found one. Kimberly Gamaldon found one. Would you look? Look at this little baby Kimberly. So cute. Oh my gosh. I, like, I literally could do this all night long. Wait, wait. Ellen Gomez. My sister and I as babies in 2022. Look at these. Look at these babies. Oh, and there's Glitterella now with her sister. So cute. Boy, that is some blue eyeliner and the blue streaks in the hair. I approve. All right, it's going pating, pating, pating. Oh, Susan P. Okay, I showed you tiny Susan P. It won't let me rude. It's being rude. Your your the photo of your family is is not cooperating with me. Oh, here's Summer's nieces. Little. And now. I am going to hear dings in my sleep. I am. That is true, Kim White. Teenage Hef with my cousin and my friend. I feel weird because I've been silent for almost a day. And then I said, oh my gosh, I had crickets laugh. And my voice scared me. Forgot what I sounded like. You know what? It happens to the best of us. Sometimes I just don't say a damn thing. Ooh. I got to sit on a motorcycle that was once on by Elvis. It was so awesome. Here's Mary. On the motorcycle that Elvis once sat on. I love that. Soph, is this you? Sophia, I'm looking back through the chat just to see if this is you. I know I can't handle all the cuteness either, Heather McLaughlin. It's astonishing. It is you, Sophie. You guys. Look at baby Sophie. Look how cute. That is ridiculous. How adorable are you? Oh, my God. I'm so happy right now. Oh. Potato. Potato soap. Look at tiny Sophie. Sophia. Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. Psych, don't feel bad. 
by the time I get caught up with everything, I'm three subjects behind of everybody anyway. So, you know what? It just... It's fine. Don't sweat it. Have got a brand new pair of roller skates. Who in here has the key? I know. I know. The curls and that red hair. Sophia. Ridiculous. You are adorable. You guys. How cute we were. I love it. Thank you so much, everybody, for sharing all of these photos with me and with all of us. Oh, my God. Sophia is sending me more. Still got the curls. Oh, my God. Current day, Sophia. Look at Sophia. Wow. I love this. I love today. What a great day. Thank you so much again. Thank you so much, everybody, for sharing all of these photos and letting me share them with the rest of the, the corner booth. I'm so happy right now. 59 people in here. It was photo night for sure. And uh, even if you're not in the chat, even if you're just lurking, you got to hang out and see all sorts of cool photos. And I love that. I love it. So thank you so much, all of you, for that. Um, before you go, if you could make sure to hit the like or the dislike, check to see if you're still subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. And, uh, and it doesn't hurt even a little bit. So do the thing. The algorithm loves it. And uh, you can also tickle my belt. And um, I didn't know it was photo night either, Bridget. It was a total surprise to me as well. Um, tickle my bell, select all for all notifications. Um, we do have memberships. Bye, Stevie. You have a good weekend too. We do have memberships. We only have one level, $2.99 a month. Gets you into the dirty stay ups and access to all of the fun little, um, all of the fun little emojis that we have. Um, and if you want to get in touch with me, in the description box below has my email address. It's pretty simple. It's jowyunsmut at gmail.com. If you want to support the channel in a way that YouTube doesn't eat 30% of, my PayPal's there. My... Uh, the Venmo that Denver Stevo made me get is there. I do have a P.O. box. I did the thing. It's also in the description box down below. And we still have KK's uh, GoFundMe linked in the description box in case you want to help contribute to her funereal costs. So, wow. Thanks, everybody. And let us... Let us do one more for the road. Zenu. Whoa. Good night to all of you. Good day. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Whatever it is, wherever you are, I hope that it's a good one. I hope that you stay safe and you stay warm and you stay well. Yeah. Peace to all, peace and love to all who need it today, tonight, and always. Corner booth where all are welcome, none are turned away. Thank you so much, everybody. Be well. Sleep sweet. Peace to you.